Hello, my name is Daniel and welcome to the Hardcore Gamers Club. Uh, first, I want to give you a little bit of background about myself. Uh, I've been around since game systems were born, okay? Uh, even before that, actually. I started way back before there was even computers for your homes. When I first started in electronics, I was probably about 12, 13-ish, maybe it was 10. It's hard to remember. <laughs> but I've always been the type to pull stuff apart, as my mom will violently attest to. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I started in the gaming and game system repairs when they first came out. Uh, I used to program my own games back before there was Windows, uh, everything working in DOS and all that good stuff. They come out with the Ataris and the Commodores and all that stuff and I was repairing them back then. None of it for pay, just for friends and other people. My generation, or the people that I hung out with, were the people responsible for building the internet with networking, learning how to network computers together. Basically what we did was we would call a house on the edge of the long distance line and then network to that computer and then that computer would then dial out to another computer at the edge of their long distance line Okay, and that way we can get long distance phone calls for free through the computers now that took on we got spread out east to west coast and more and more people started jumping in and it just kind of spidered out Hence the word World Wide Web. <laughs> okay. Uh, later on, they come out with Windows. Right about then is where I quit with all of that because I didn't want to have to relearn Windows and all that other good stuff. And I stayed in the actual component level repairs and building PCs and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, uh, old Bill Gates uh, came out with the Windows which was part of everybody's hacker community and we all had input into that and then when he came out calling everybody thieves and hackers and all that stuff and people started going to jail and everything over it you know I got out of it I just like no you know no more <laughs> anyway they popped in a bunch of servers and everybody started getting on the internet and back then it was real expensive for everything and as far as buying all the stuff and obviously I didn't have the money for it <laughs> otherwise I'd be a rich millionaire right now but uh, later on down the line you know I went into welding and all kind of other stuff I've been certified in all, pretty much all the welding arc MIG inner shield tungsten inner gas you know aluminum stainless steel welding and stuff like that so I got a very good background concerning metals, alloys, heating and cooling, expansion and contraction, uh, basically metallurgy, concerning the heat dissipation rates in the heat sinks of these boxes and stuff like that. And I also have an extensive military background in component level electronics where I used to repair all of the helicopters, the weapon stability platforms, onboard computers, all that good stuff okay now a lot of these repairmen will pick out little teeny things and say yeah that was uh, 20 years ago and them old helicopters didn't have the new chips that we had nowadays and stuff and their basics and stuff like that okay well if you and, and you know they compare the the helicopters I was working to with the ones that they see on TV from Vietnam because <laughs> they have no clues for what they're talking about Okay, the military gets the good stuff first, then the civilian public gets the good stuff later. I wasn't just working on the old helicopters, I was working on the OH-58 OH Deltas, you know, the ones with the big ball on the top and the lasers and the supercomputer and all that other good stuff in there, uh, all of that good stuff. I also sidebarred in the night vision equipment repair, I sidebarred in the battery shops and at one time I was a supervisor over the avionics shop, I was a supervisor over the night vision equipment repair shop, I was a supervisor over the battery repair shop, all simultaneously. 
So I do have an extensive background in component level electronics. And I'm here today to tell you that 98, closer to 99% of every video that you're watching here on YouTube is total garbage crap. The vast majority of this is made up and speculated upon by individuals who have absolutely no background whatsoever in electronics that want to sell you bolt kits. Okay, First of all, you are not going to repair a game system by buying an online repair guide at your home. You will destroy your box and I'll give you a 99% likelihood that you will kill your box. Now I'll have people go on here, ah oh, I fixed my box and it lasted so long. Okay, Most of them are repairmen just wanting to throw you off. Now I'm going to show actual proof of my actual background in electronics through the military. Yes, that was 20 years back, but I also stay very current on all of the electronics. With that being said, let's take a look at my background. I'm going to video and cut from an older video of mine, excuse me, because I don't want to have to dig that paperwork out again, and I will cover off some pieces of it because of social security numbers and stuff that the military always uses, and then I'll come back and I want to discuss some more with you about game system repairs. Okay, now that you've seen my actual background, anyone making claims other than what I'm saying, ask them to prove their background and ask them to prove it with anything other than a basic electronics course for ITT, which is Internet Technology, which is 98% computer networking. Because all they do is give a basic, basic, basic electronics class. Uh, so that they know how to ohm out a network cable to check for shorts. That's about it, okay? <laughs> All right. And then if they can actually prove it to you, let me know and I'll discuss with them what they're saying, okay? But uh, uh, on this channel, I'm going to be giving out all the information uh, concerning game system repairs, a, B, A to Z. Okay, I'm not going to leave anything out. No trade secrets, nothing like that. Okay, but because the old channel was hacked, I'm forced to rebuild the new channel, the HGC, from scratch. It's going to take me a little while to get these videos up. A little background on this channel and the old channel. I had videos showing extremely bad repair methods, uh, showing the bolting method from GameStop, Play and Trade, Cyborg Games, uh, many, 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 many other repairmen around across the U.S. Uh, I have video. I had videos of Gamer Guy 51, uh, literally, t I, and I still do on my old hard drive. Uh, Gamer Guy 51 actually towel tricking a box holding it up, giggling and laughing, and then saying he was going to go sell it on eBay. He deleted that video because of me posting stuff on his channel. And he comes up every now and again, Hey guys, I got a new repair. Ha 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 ha. It's a different kind of a bolt. It's got a little Allen wrench hole instead of a Phillips head hole or a flathead hole or whatever and now I'm using this little piece of metal with a little foam pad on it and all this other good stuff and it shows him drilling through the case and just destroying the, the, his kids' game systems that he repairs. He actually owns two store, loca two store locations in Pensacola, Florida. All of these videos I have to date since 
back in 2009 when I fir when my fir my son got his Xbox murdered by Play and Trade, and I'm not saying all Play and Trades do this, you know, or all GameStops do this. I'm just saying that the ones that I showed was doing it, okay? But my son's box was murdered, and he never had red lights to start with. Okay, all all he, what was wrong with his box was he'd lose video every once in a while. He'd wiggle the video cable, and it'd come back on. Well, they were supposed to replace the AV port, and when I'll make a really long story short, he he got the box back, plugged it in, went straight to three red lights, took it back again, plugged it in. A week later, went straight back to three red lights. Not he never had green lights. He got it back from the GameStop uh, playing trade a week later and then plugged it up again straight, straight to three red lights and then when I opened up the box I found that there was not a single screw in the entire motherboard. They had bolted the heat sinks to the box. They used a $1.99 chromatic that should not be used on anything that requires a fan. Uh, the guy, the repairman that they were using knew he had killed the box and so he took the good working BenQ drive and replaced it with a Hitachi and even it had all the screws missing. All right. Needless to say I bitched out the owner, the manager, the repairman and everybody involved with that store <laughs> and they did uh, replace the box. Uh, I have also uh, forced Best Buy to replace a kid's box because of their warranty repair that was performed by Geek Squad for doing the bolting method. Uh, I have forced several repairmen around the area to replace and or refund individuals for doing these kind of repairs on their game systems. Okay. Now if you don't want to take my word for it because you say my uh, experience is old and you don't trust my up-to-dateness <laughs> uh, I can get another individual on here for a quick short video hopefully <laughs> his name is Sean Johnson he owns uh, Dell service and repair centers up and down California here he holds several of the highest degrees in component level, component level electronics there is period and was one of the individuals that went with me to the courthouse with the uh, last court case concerning game system repairs that I was with. We did settle that out of court uh, for those of you who know about that and due to the settlement we made certain agreements not to mention each other's names or anything like that and everything and made concessions on both parts because quite frankly suing people is time consuming uh, expensive and all the trips back and forth our customers were fate uh, our customers were suffering because of the back and forth concerning the repairs so we settled out especially since since he was doing a much better repair service now than he was in the past for those of you who know about it just know that We've settled that, settled our differences and have promised to not say anything about each other that is negative in any way and or mention each other for that matter, okay? Uh, at least by name anyway. Uh, so if you don't know about that particular court case, don't ask. I'm not going to give you any more details than what you got just now. I'm going to be putting up videos on all the repair systems and I'm going to give you extreme detail and debunk every single last claim all of these idiots out there are telling you concerning the baloney flaw with the X clamp I'll explain to you what they do what their function is yeah that's right they actually have a function they actually work in a specific manner it's not just there to hold the thing in it didn't allow flexing uh, of the box. There was no such thing as chip drift and all that other good stuff. But I will go into that in extreme detail and prove to you all of these little things. On the comment section of this video, if you would like me to explain sooner than later any specific things that you see on YouTube, okay, 
concerning chip drift, uh, concerning uh, tin whiskers, concerning the X clamps, concerning the difference between lead and lead free solder. Uh, make a comment in there. Ask me to make the video on that specific one. One that have the most questions concerning that particular topic I will give priority to. Now if you're a member of the HGC I will give your questions even more priority to speed up your information. If you have made a donation and received an entry into my Mega Draw which has a $5,000 top prize and seven other prizes of $250 to buy game systems or whatever you like. You will have even more priority for your questions for me b making videos. Now, I plan on, I need to make all of these debunk videos before I get into the actual repair videos. Otherwise, you're not learning. Okay? It's, it would be like you watching a YouTube video and parroting what I'm saying just like everybody's doing right now with the bolts they watch a video they video themselves copying that video making the bolts and they repeat all of this stuff like parrots right? that's why there's so much information out there right now concerning bolts that even some of these guys that have computer training and stuff like that and basic basic skills in electronics will fall for it and then they will believe it and they will parrot that to their customers and then when somebody comes along like myself who actually has extensive background in electronics speaks out against it and says it's extremely bad they violently violently will defend a repair that is extremely damaging and they will lie out their butthole to defend it. Why would they do that? Well, I'll tell you. Because they've been telling all of their customers these little lies concerning the error codes and all that other good stuff. Yeah, that's right. If you want information on error codes, I can give you information on every error code that Xbox has, every error code the PS3 has, every error code that the Wii has, all of that. You want me to show you uh, what the error codes is? I'll show you. I'll tell you exactly what they mean and how useful they are. Okay? But because of all of these guys parroting and then spewing this to their customers, they're going to violently defend their actions because they don't want their customers coming back and kicking their ass. You was fucking at my box. You told me you was a professional. When in fact, I, now I find out you wasn't even licensed. Uh, uh, the last repairman that I had to go to court over with told the, uh, told the mediator that the Xbox repair industry is an unregulated industry. <laughs> That's totally wrong. Electronics repair industry is a heavily regulated industry. Not only do you have to have a business license, but you're also regulated and have to have a secondary license through the bearer. Okay? Bureau of Electronic Repairs. Okay? If you don't have that, you can be heavily fined. There's a reason why the electronics industry is so heavily regulated because uh, if you repair something in an improper manner, you cause a fire hazard. I've shown repairs where I open up the box and all the screws to the motherboard was missing. And this is pretty common with the bolt method, but with them not putting the motherboard screws in because the bolts had warped the board in such a way that if they put the bolts to the motherboard or the screws to the motherboard in, it would flatten it out and cause it to not work because it's tweaked in such a bad way. Okay, so they leave the motherboard screws out and that allows it to work while it's all warped and bowed. Okay, but the problem with that is is you cause an extreme, an extreme fire hazard in that box. If there's a power surge, it can arc. Okay, and not to mention when uh, all of them screws for the motherboards are grounding points. 
Now they say, oh, this is grounded to the case by this section and through the power brick and they're not necessary. Yes, they are. They're very necessary. Okay, let's say you got a piece of wire this long and it has a grounding point in the middle. Okay, now, if uh, from here to the middle, it's going to have a certain resistance value. Okay, and from here to the middle, it's going to have a certain resistance value. Okay, you got a component on each end that requires a ground. Now, you remove that ground from the middle and put the ground way over here at, at a little bit further. Now, you got twice the resistant value between that component and that component and now additional resistance to the grounding point down here, which is kind of like adding a resistor in between the grounding point of the box. Now, if the grounding point that used to be in the middle is still bare, and there's a power surge or enough static electricity buildup, it can cause an arc, kind of like a lightning discharge or static electricity from your finger. It, yeah, it's really small, okay? Or it could also cause the static buildup because it's no longer able to dissipate all of that static off with the grounding because of the added length and added resistance value. So it sits there and builds up in the chip and eventually fires off in between the legs of the chip, which would kill the chip. Uh, now, I've had people on here say, oh, I've seen you put the motherboard in your lap and and do stuff on it and you're touching it all over the place and everything okay yeah I do do that <laughs> okay but I wear a leg strap I don't wear the grounding strap on my wrist because the wire is all in the way so I'll wear the grounding strap on my ankle that way I get my hands are free and later on down the line I'll show you how to make a grounding strap uh, grounding strap and I'll even show you my grounding strap but for this video uh, I'm just letting people know that I am going to be putting up videos and I want you to let every single one of these Xbox repairmen showing bad videos with heat guns, towel tricking, bolting, talking about chip drift, talking about tin whiskers and all of that stuff. I want you to tell them about this channel so they can learn what they were lied to about so they can offer a better repair service. Okay, I'll have to be right back. Sorry about the phone call. Hmm. Right now, I do game system repairs. I repair all the game systems, PS3, Wii, whatever you want. I, I will repair any electronic that you bring in. If for any reason I cannot fix a, an electronic that you bring in or refuse to repair it because I don't have the room or whatever, uh, I would definitely recommend you to somebody who I believe is qualified enough to get it done at a decent price or s to someone that I know that is actually qualified to do the repairs whether they're expensive or not but either way I will let you know who you should be looking to uh, questions you should ask them stuff like that uh, that way you know you're getting a decent repair from whoever you're going to Anyway, one final note, just before I sign off in this video, uh, I have a membership, a membership section on this channel. Uh, it's a fundraiser, uh, $5 if you can gift it via PayPal, or $5.50 if you go to my website, clovisxbox360repair.com, and make the donation that way. That donation will give you a one-year membership in the HGC, that will allow you to win rebuilt game systems that I put together because I don't sell game systems whatsoever if I get game systems donated and I get them put together I will give them away for free to my members and for every 100 members I receive I give away a brand spanking new purchase the same day as the draw as the giveaway game system or its equivalent in cash so every for every 100 members I receive that become a one-year membership I will give away a brand spanking new system or its equivalent in cash so if you're out of state or you just already have that game system you can take the cash value and buy games or whatever you like now the the method for which you win these game systems 
is absolutely 100% cheat proof and every single member and individual participating can verify 100% that they were or were not the winner because you guys are the ones that are actually doing it and, and I'm going to be putting up a video uh, explaining the rules and each of my giveaways will be listed no less than 10 days in advance that way you have time to make arrangements to show up at the time and date of the video giveaway and I also have a few of the past winners that I put back up because like I said the old channel was uh, hacked or there was a Google flaw somewhere where the entire channel disappeared and now I'm having to remake it. Anyway, I also have a customer only drawing which every customer that comes in for a repair or whatever and money changes hands I give a free entry into a 1 in 500 giveaway for a brand new 4 gig slim or $200 in cash. Okay, I will give away some of them entries for free to my members and my new members to get a chance to practice on working the free giveaways for the membership that way they know what to expect before they actually try to win an actual game system so that's a nice thing okay and you can win a couple of entries into them drawings now I also have the mega draw a long time ago it used to have a very large prize and I had offered the repair videos to them exclusively for making the donations and stuff but it was taking so long and the way it was set up if I was to allow it to continue the way it was it would be 16 20 years before it ever completed because it was going really slow so I eliminated 199 different draws <laughs> and reduced the first place cash prize down to five thousand dollars and then added three extra $250 prizes. So there's a total of eight prizes in all. First place of $5,000 and seven $250 winners. The odds are one in 500 to win. You can't get that with any lottery ticket, I don't care. Uh, if you buy a thousand lottery tickets, you would still get nowhere near a one in 500 odds of winning a five dollar scratcher so it's a really good fundraiser there that particular one is a twenty dollar donation level twenty one fifty if you donate through the Clovis Xbox 360 repair.com website but if you have a PayPal account you can gift it or if you just write out a check to Clovis Xbox repair for twenty dollars and write donation I'll give you give you a free entry into that that is a publicly held drawing where anyone who's capable of making it to the drawing can verify that there is absolutely no cheating. I do not do any of the drawing myself. Other individuals that are not part of the drawing will be doing all of that. And then anybody who shows up can verify both before and after the drawing that the individual that belonged to the drawing number of the thing is the actual person that won. Okay, so it's absolutely cheat proof and it'll be a fun day at the park. <laughs> uh, so, by all means, if you can afford $20, I know the economy is bad right now, if you can afford $20, make that donation, Get it. you'll get a free entry into that drawing. Uh, once 500 people are entered into that drawing then that drawing will be held it'll be announced 30 days in advance it'll be at one of the parks here in Clovis California and we'll make it like a potluck for everybody to come out and have have a good old time all right uh, and it's all in the name of getting information out to the kids and gamers you know that have and repairmen that have been lied to over the years so uh, we're gonna do a good thing here eventually I will have every last aspect of the game Xbox repairs up 
and the vast majority of that information is also going to pertain to the PS3s and Wii's and all that other good stuff but I will also be putting up them uh, I'm going to show you some micro soldering uh, soldering techniques uh, I'll have everything in here and I will classify all of the videos for beginner skilled trade uh, advanced stuff like that along with all of the giveaways for anybody who wants to help uh, the mega giveaway with the five thousand dollar top prize is to hopefully to get enough money coming in quickly enough to allow me to not focus on the repairs that I use the repair income that I use to pay my bills with and kind of allow that to slow down and give me more time to actually make these videos and put them up. Uh, if I don't get much support in these I'm, uh, I have to make these videos for you guys in you know at the end of the day if I'm tired I'm not gonna make the video uh, I only have so much time I gotta do on the weekends I have no time at all because I work 12 hour days on the weekday so like I said, that that giveaway is would help speed up getting all of these video information out to everyone a whole lot faster by allowing me to not have to advertise and not have to do quite so many repairs in order to pay the bills. Okay, uh, it would allow me more time to focus on making the videos and getting this information out to everyone, so that the repairmen that are repairing now will have a quality source of information for not only opening individual items uh, but also repairs you know it'll be a coalition some people will have information that I don't okay and I can and I'll explain to you how that would be possible <laughs> uh, in, a, in, a, in a later video but you know, if you have a piece of information uh, on a game system repair that you would like me to go over and possibly make a video on it, then by all means send me the information. Okay, it may be something that I don't know yet and and have not planned on putting out. But if it is something that I don't know, I will definitely make a video about it and let all of these repairmen know about it okay it'll help speed things up now obviously not everybody can repair electronics so this is not gonna cut my throat most people would rather pay a little bit of money and have somebody that's done it quite a few times rather do it rather than try to do it themselves now there are a lot of do-it-yourselfers I'm not gonna argue that point but the vast majority of people don't want to have to deal with it because they know they haven't done it and if they try to do it there is a 80 percent higher risk of them damaging something during the repair by following a guide with no experience or background in what they're doing okay that's that's something that most people would much rather do and then if they see that you're honest forth coming and you're willing to tell the truth about all the game system repairs and stuff they're more than willing to you know pay the extra money that it costs in labor for you to do it because you've done it a thousand times okay now uh, I, I'm gonna show you a whole whole lot of stuff on this uh, so this video is basically just informational concerning the repairs and the giveaways and stuff I'm going to be getting up there. I'm going to restart the giveaways at the end of this month for next month. I'll have several boxes to give away. I'll explain them on the upcoming video uh, coming up at the end of the month and list each one on the date. So be ready for, uh, for those of you who are members now, be ready for a few giveaways starting next month. And I am going to correct the time difference because of the loss of the old channel so that uh, you don't lose a whole month over that and not get any game systems for that month. So I am going to correct the uh, adjust your memberships by that month that we were down. Okay, so everybody stay safe, happy gaming, and support the cause. All right, it's well worth it. 
I mean, even if you only send in a couple of dollars a month and uh, say, let me know, hey, I want to I want to send in maybe two or three dollars a month and I want it to build up to twenty dollars so that I can get an entry into that All right? because once that giveaway is completed if it completes before you're finished I'll start a new one not a problem uh, if I get all of the videos up and I'm starting a new one the money that is raised from that will be solely used to buy game systems brand spanking new and give them away okay so it's not just to help me pay bills but it will also go to buying brand spanking new game systems to give away to our members straight up okay so definitely support the HGC and everybody stay safe happy gaming and tell all your friends about this channel force them to get on the channel if they own a game system of any kind whatsoever they need to be on this channel they need to go watch the cleaning and maintenance videos if you have a game system that uh, is not listed and you're local bring it in and if I haven't got a video on it yet I will do a free clean out on it just to put up a video on the clean out of your game system so by all means if you have a game system and you want a free clean out and I haven't already got a video up showing that particular system bring it in I'll give you a free clean out just to video it now you gotta give me a little bit of time don't say I want it back I want it back in four hours you know? <laughs> All right. so if you got that bring it on in take care